Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, my name is Elizabeth. My channel name is Shytown Girl. I hope everyone is doing well today. Brand new Dollar Tree haul. Whoop, 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 whoop. Every single item in this video, a buck and a coin, which is $1.25. Every single item in this video came from Wappinger Falls, which is located on Route 9, um, just past Poughkeepsie, if you're familiar with the Hudson Valley area. All right, so many exciting finds to share with all of you. Let's jump right into it. We're going to start off with a couple snack and food finds. Kraft macaroni and cheese. I mean, I don't know. I couldn't tell you how much of that stuff I've eaten through my lifetime. But I didn't know they made Kraft macaroni and cheese in Spiros. So this is Kraft mac and cheese in Spiros. It is a 5.5 ounce box. I never knew it. Um, I mean, a noodle is a noodle. <laughs> some say different noodles taste different than some say penny tastes different than elbows and maybe there's true to that in different kinds of pasta but anyways i did get two boxes of the spiral bound because i got one for me and one for yep cheryl i heard you <laughs> all right the next item i found these are more like sweets and treats these are cow tails they are the mini caramel apple cow tails it's a four ounce package. It's perfect for Halloween -y time. It's wrapped in that really neon green and got that crazy cow on the front. These are nice and super soft too. The next thing I found is the Wiley Wallaby Soft and Chewy Licorice's Back. This is a five ounce package. This one is in classic black. And I must say, if you're a licorice person, I don't prefer the black licorice myself. I like the red licorices and things like that and some of the flavored ones. Um, even black licorice is strong, but this stuff is like super strong. So if you don't really, really like licorice, this might not be a good choice. The next flavor I found, and I've never seen before, lemonade flavored licorice. This is a 5.5 ounce package as well. So I was like, lemonade licorice? Um, that should be exciting. I'm just wondering if it's going to be like super tart. Um, I won't do a taste test now because I'm actually drinking some coffee. All right, the next thing I found in Foods Aisle and I think is a great buy, this is a brand name, Pace Chunky Style Salsa. They had medium variety, they had um, mild variety, and they had hot. I am not, I love salsa, but I can't do the spicy stuff. I wish I could, but I have to take it easy on my tummy. So I usually get the mild. So I ended up getting two of these because one's going to go to the drag strip with us. Actually, they probably both will this weekend end up at the track with us. So I grabbed two containers of that, which I think is a great buy. All right, let's go over to doo, 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 a couple more things for the household, I guess. Um, these are the patty paper squares. You get a hundred sheets in here. I have probably in the past six, seven years used these. They're wonderful. When I'm making hamburger patties or anything and I just stack it all up in between, yeah, I could cut wax paper or parchment paper, but these are already pre-cut. They're nice and they're also great for crafting. If you ever need something for crafting, these are perfect. They really do the job. I like them, so I picked up two more packages because I use them all the time. The next thing in um, like household, I guess we'll call it, I did pick up this set because I thought it was cute. It's a set of pot holders. Life is what you bake it. And ain't that the truth? I bake a lot. I mean, a lot. Um, this comes in a set of two, which I thought was cute. And then they also have the dish towel to go with it. So I got one of those as well. They also had the big oven mitt. Um, they had the washcloths, but I didn't need all that because I just bought some coffee ones. But I just wanted a little something, and I thought that was cute. All right, let's stay with, um, well, I guess this really isn't household, but let's go over to something for the kids again. This is Kids Extra Care Moisturizing Hand Body Foam Soap. I've been showing you all kinds of little kitty stuff for the pools and the tubs. This is foam soap, hand and body, five fluid ounces, and looks just like that. A cute, cute container going on. The next one I came across is, uh, oh wait, I didn't tell you the scent. My bad. This one, of course, we know it's either apple or watermelon. This one is watermelon. Then I also found another one, moisturizing hand body foam soap. This one is in cherry scent. 
you could definitely put a big basket together for a kid for a big bath time fun or grown-ups in the hot tubs the next one is sweet berry scent and yes it is purple and the colors are in the bottle so this is actually purple then we actually have green and so on and so forth Another um, cool thing that I came across um, in soaps and things like that is a loofah soap. This one is in coconut scent, and it has the loofah there on the inside, so that's kind of cool looking. Looks like a little bit smaller than a hockey puck. They also had this one, which is in lavender scent. There you can see that one. It really, you can see it right there, the loofah inside there. And, le and this one smells so good. Mm -mm -mm. last but not least this one here which is in citrus scent very very pretty to put you know maybe you could put it in your bathroom or in your spare bathroom whatever you choose you, that you like i did come across some more yardley soap and i did go a little cuckoo for cocoa puffs because i just love this stuff all right so i came across some different ones these are all going to be four ounces this one is yardley of london hemp seed oil and I can smell each one individually, and they smell so good. English lavender, which is Yardley again. Lovely, lovely smell. The next one is oatmeal and almond. And they just, oh, they all smell so clean. Then we have activated charcoal, and these are all Yardley of London. Beautiful soaps. You know, my mom used to keep a soap in the drawer, um, of her delicates and things like that um, to keep everything smelling nice. This is one of my favorite ones. And this is the Shea Buttermilk. Oh, I love the smell of like almond, Shea Butter. Um, Bath and Body Works, I used to get their hand lotion that smelled like almonds. I'm trying to remember the brand name. It used to, oh, I can't think of it. It was in like a beige kind of tube. Um, but they don't carry it anymore, so that kind of sucks. So that's about the closest thing that I've ever come to compared to the one at Bath and Body Works. All right, staying kind of in um, taking care of yourself, personal hygiene stuff. They had this Power Stick Powder Fresh um, value size, 2.125 ounces, and it's in the powder scent, so I grabbed one of those. Then I saw this one here, which is Swab Fresh Vibes Berry Bliss Deodorant. Is that a mouthful or what? But of course I saw the purple. And then I saw the Berry Bliss, and I'm like, you know, and I did give it a little whiff in the store, but now that I can snap it at home here, let me just, uh, it does, it smells so good. Um, anything you can do to, from your armpits not being stinky definitely helps out. So grab some of those. All right, let's go over to a few things that I came across in the kids' toy department. All right, if your kids like to play with Legos, I'm not saying these are Legos, but these are definitely comparable and they do work with Legos. And talk about a bonus buy here for sure. 72 pieces of the Make It Blocks in the green. Again, 72 pieces. That's over double what you normally get. All in green. I also found the 72 pieces all in brown. 72 all in gray, 72 all in blue, and 72 in all of the colors combined that I just showed you. If that is not a deal for putting away for Christmas, for donating, I don't know what is. These are going to flock. They also had in the kids department, these that I thought were pretty cool. These are made by a company called Curiosity Cross Stitch Activities. They're recommending for ages six and up. You're gonna get everything in this kit, one wooden heart, two yarn colors, a plastic needle, your keychain, and your instruction sheet. But check that out. I used to love doing craft kits and stuff like that. I always thought they were fun. And I remember them being kind of expensive back in my day too. So for a buck and a coin, I don't think you can beat it. So I found this one. They had magnetic tile art. You're gonna get everything you need in this kit. Here's the back if you're interested. And last but not least, and this I'm gonna open up because I was thinking about something in here and I don't know exactly what it looks like, 
Um, here's the kit, what it looks like, right? So I'm looking at the kit and going, it says it has five clay colors, a mini cake stand, a sculpting tool, accessory sheets, and a design guide. Well, when I saw the mini cookie candy cake thing, I'm like, ooh, I'm wondering if this would be something you could use in a dollhouse. But I don't really know the exact size till I rip this sucker open, so bear with me a moment. <clears throat> Let me see. Oh, so check this out, all right? Here's the kit. I'm gonna open it up here because I'm just really curious about this little mini cake stand. So you're gonna get everything that you need, which is like all right here and falling on the floor, but check this out. I think this could work in a dollhouse, whether it's a table, look at it. It's like a little tiered single tray. Is that adorable or what? So if you have a dollhouse, um, this could be a lot of different things. I'm just saying just for that piece alone, you'd pay more than a buck and a quarter at like Hobby Lobby or something. All right, so let's move past all that and jump back over to these, which I saw for kids, and I think these are so cute. These are Make a Face Dinosaur Sticker Book. So it's a sticker book with 150 stickers, right? But what you do is you make faces. So I thought this was so fun. So here you get a dinosaur, and then what you do is you put his nose on, his face, a hat. You make the dinosaur however you want it to be. They have different character dinosaurs with different stickers on each one. Whoops, on each one. Look at the donuts on each one to have the fun that you want. I thought this was so cool. So that was just an example of the dinosaur. So here's the dinosaur one. They also had one for animals. Again, over 150 stickers, but you just get to make little faces. Like you could have a contest, you know, like rip a sheet out and give one to each kid and have a contest like who can make the funniest face or it i don't know i'm just always about trying to entertain um just do fun stuff so here we have an alligator and then we have a panda bear i mean there's just so much fun going on two more i want to share with you this one is silly kids again 150 stickers let's open this up so you get little faces and you get to make them as silly as you want them to be. All different boys and girls. Somebody's doing something outside of figures, right? All kinds of boys and girls to make all different kinds of silly faces. Last but not least in this sticker book, and it's my favorite, and you're going to know why in about two seconds. Unicornies! Oh my gosh! Unicornies and donuts? Oh my. So look at the unicorns! My favorite out of them all they are so adorable look at these little guys you know you could make one of these sticker faces and then laminate it cut it around and make a magnet from it hang it on your wall so simple to do it's unbelievable and you can do everything from dollar tree here's another one sitting on a cloud so much fun going on here something you could decorate walls on a girl's room just lots going on all right also came across some more patches i don't need no stinking patches these are from the crafter square section. These are adorable. The first one is a set of four and they're little mermaids. You got three mermaids and then a mermaid tail. How fun are these for jackets, hats, purses, tote bags? Oh my gosh. I actually got two of the mermaids because I thought they were super, super fun. Then I saw this one of four that's got a dolphin, a shark, and a couple fishies. How fun is that? Then I found this one for those of you that might be interested in space and ships and rockets and the moon. How cool is that? All righty. Let's move over to something I saw in the kids department as well. Where did it go? All right. It must be in the other video. Don't mind me. Let's jump over to something I saw in medicines. Now, if you're sick, you're cold. The first thing you think of is kind of like Vicks, you know, vapor rub and stuff like this so when i first saw this i thought it was vicks don't mistake it but it smells just like it extra care non-medicated vapor stick no mess soothing scent and it's 1.25 grams so it's the actual i'm going to show it to you it's the actual stick in fact if you smell it through the box you can smell better already <laughs> so this is what it's going to look like and it's actually a stick 
and it is going to help you to be able to when you got that coffee congestion stuff going on so there is that I remember when I was a kid my mom would come in and lather me up when I see her come walking with that blue Vix jar I was like oh no she'd come in the shirt off all over the chest you put the shirt on and the shirt would stick to your skin everywhere but then it would warm up Oi, the good old days when mom would come in with some chicken soup and a cup of tea. All right, if you want to shove one up your nose, vapor inhaler. Yes, we have a vapor inhaler. It's also the menthol scent. So you have the one that you can either shove up your nose. I'm not telling you to shove it up your nose, but the one you can put up your nose or you have the stick. So the choice is yours. It is out there. Came across this and it was just right down from where I found this medicine. And these are made by Crayola. Crayola Color Bath Drops. Eight water coloring tablets in a package. I remember one time, many, many years ago, I'll share this real quick. I had a friend of mine who wanted to give her daughter a bath and she wanted it to be like colorful. <clears throat> she used food coloring. Well, she didn't use a lot. She just used a little bit. I mean, what were you thinking? She thought the ratio of water would outdo the food coloring. Needless to say, when the baby got out of the tub, she looked like a big old blueberry. It was, oh my God. It rinsed off eventually. It wasn't as bad as I'm probably making it sound. It was hysterical, but it wasn't. But yeah, don't use food coloring. Um, You know, not at least for the bathtubs. Anyways, use some of these bath drops. I think they would be much better. They're basically just tablets. Let me show you what they look like if you're interested. Oh, these boxes are just getting harder and harder to open. My goodness, let's just rip it apart here. I'm just gonna give you a visual here so you can see exactly what you're getting inside. They almost look like the same tablets that you color your Easter eggs with. So that is what they look like in a package, okay? Let me be the guinea pig and open it up for you. All right, let's just do a time check. Ooh, this is gonna be a long one and I still got oodles to go. So I'm gonna share a sneak peek with all of you. I came across some new things in the makeup department. So I'm just gonna flash something across the screen to give you a sneak peek of some other stuff that I have that's brand new in my area. And then if you decide you wanna watch it and check it out, you're gonna have to tune into the next Dollar Tree haul. All right, everybody, until next time, thank you all so much for watching. Any questions or comments, hit me up down below or you can always reach me via many other ways. Thank you all so much for watching and here's just a sneak peek of some new items by Lori L. Until next time, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.